first episode of Rock Education with me, your host, The Rocker. Today I'm going to be reviewing a band that is near and dear to both me and my good friend, the Bastard Gamer's Hearts, Symphony X. But first, before I do anything, Liquid Courage. Ooh. Symphony X, ladies and gentlemen, is an American progressive metal band from New Jersey, founded back in 94 by guitarist Michael Romeo. Their debut album was simply entitled Symphony X. Their 97 album, The Divine Wings of Tragedy, and their 2000 release, V, The New Mythology Suite, have given the band considerable, and I mean on this, ladies and gentlemen, considerable attention within the progressive metal community. Musically, Symphony X is often compared to other prog metal bands such as Dream Theater, which I recommend you try out, they're good, and Fate's Warning. In early 94, Michael Romeo, ex Phantom's Opera, ex Gemini, recorded a demo tape entitled The Dark Chapter. The tape attracted a fair share of attention. He then recruited bassist Thomas Miller, drummer Jason Rulo, vocalist Rod Tyler, and finally keyboard player Michael Pinella. Their album was obviously self titled, as I had said previously. Their second, uh, the second album, Damnation Game, followed six months later. Singer Rod Tyler had left the band and by then was substituted by Russell Allen, who is fronting the band to this day. And Russell Allen influenced the band's style in a noticeable way, emphasizing the classical side of Symphony X. The Divine Wings of Tragedy, good album, was the album that gave first gave Symphony X exposure in metal circles. It took a considerable amount of time to, co to record the thing. Took, they started in early 96 and concluded in late 97, so about a year, when usually bands take about six, maybe five months to record an album. At the end of 97, for the part of the year, Jason Rulo, their drummer, had to step away from the band in order to solve personal issues. He was temporarily replaced by Thomas Whaling. Even with a temporary drummer, the band recorded Twilight and Olympus, pretty good album about that, in early 98. Their first official show happened in 98 in Japan. It was soon followed by a world tour. Bassist Thomas Miller left the band and was replaced by Michael LaPont in that year. Jason Rulo returned to the drums finally for their fifth album, V the New Mythology Suite, released in 2000. It was the band's first release on a major progressive label Inside Out Music. 2005, Symphony X was featured on Gigantor Summer Music Festival, headlined by Megadeth with Dream Theater and Anthrax. Symphony X released a music video for The Serpent's Kiss, which is their first. It's followed by their second music video for Set the World on Fire, which I highly recommend all you people out there check out because it's, it's awesome. It was released November 11, 2007. The current members of the band is Russell Allen on vocals, Michael Romeo on guitar, Michael Pinella on keyboards, Michael LaPond on bass, and Jason Rulo on drums. Goddamn, I never knew that there could be three Michaels in one band. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's Symphony X for you. I highly urge you to go check them out and check out other many fine prog metal bands out on the market. And also, if you get the chance, Check out my friend, my good friend, the Bastard Gamer Show. It's easy. Go to YouTube, type in the Bastard Gamer. You'll find a whole wide range of goodies for you. This is the Rocker signing off and saying, if you chose, if you had to choose someone to educate you, choose the Rocker.